you know, there's always this big climax, I think, when, when it was just one signing day and, um, you know, it was a lot more hectic, it seems like, and um, both from a coaching standpoint and then you look down, you know, from a news standpoint on Twitter, seeing all these kids, where they're going, making announcements right now, whereas, you know, the majority of our class, uh, 15 of them, um, we had signed in the early signing period. So um, I think it, you know, creates something for coaches whereas we can get done what we can get done in December and lets us kind of reset and then really hone in on our our guys that we have left so you know there's really only you know six or seven guys that we were recruiting really hard um, throughout the month of, uh, of January so helps us out we're not chasing ghosts at the end of it and uh, we can kind of uh, know who our targets are and, and go attack them. Yeah I like it a lot um, and one thing, you know, at a place like Incarnate Word, it, I think it helps our budget out as well. You know, we're not um, spending all of January going out weekly to go visit these kids and their families. Um, we're able to really have these guys locked in and then, um, and then limit the time that uh, we're out. You know, we don't need the resources to go out and travel and, and visit with these guys. And so it helps us from that regards. And then um, also, you know, I, I think from, from a... a recruiting standpoint for these kids, I think it allows them to be locked in and not have the stresses on them going down the stretch uh, of, of January and waiting for this national signing day. So I've, I've enjoyed it so far. Yeah, you know, I'm going to start with our quarterback and because he's going to be one that wasn't really talked about. And, um, you know, he was a guy that played in the wing team offense in uh, South Texas. And so, um, you know, I don't think he was able to really show his skill set game in game out of what he can do throwing the football and how he'll fit into this offense and in the air raid system so a guy that has a extremely uh, strong arm I mean he'll he'll walk on campus and uh, be able to make all the throws we need him to make and uh, but big uh, six foot three 225 pounds um, really good basketball player really good track athlete so a multi-sport guy which I take a lot um, of consideration into that guy's playing multiple sports so really excited to see uh, how he develops in this offense um, not known because his tape you know he's pretty much handing the ball off the whole entire time and um, then obviously you know the two uh, transfers we got from Texas A&M I think uh, have the capability to come on and, and make an immediate impact for us um, size wise they're there you know the running backs six foot two 220 pounds um, carried the ball in the SEC last year scored touchdowns in the SEC and so um, I think he definitely adds a, a physical dominant um, presence to our backfield and um, you'll see him receive a lot of handoffs um, early on and so and then the other one's a, a local product um, that people are probably familiar with but Moses Reynolds uh, whose brother is Josh Reynolds playing for the Rams right now played corner um, there at Texas A&M and so to get him back home um, and, and a guy that's already one of the fastest guys on our team um, out there running our, our drills right now in our offseason program um, big strong six foot two long rangy corner that, that athletic ability um, has the ability to come in and make an immediate impact for us.